What's up guys, this is my review of the ColorOS ROM for the Galaxy S4 i9 500. So the ColorOS is based on Android as you can see here and you find this ROM or this OS with Oppo devices. So this is a port of the ColorOS for the Galaxy S4 from the Prism ROM team. If you guys want to install this ROM, hit link 1 from the description for the installation method and without any delays, let's get into this ROM. At first, you will have these Chinese characters. So what you can do is go to settings, scroll down and here you will see an icon with this keyboard. Tap it now and tap this and choose English and then you will have everything in English. So I have been using this ROM for a week now and before proceeding, I would like to say that the SVU case works with this ROM as well. This ROM can be used as a daily driver if you like something off from the TouchWiz. This ROM reminds me of the MIUI ROM, very similar in a lot of ways. So starting from the lock screen, you have this stylish lock screen with this glass panel rotating. You also can download additional lock screen themes that will allow you to unlock your device in various styles. I will come back to it in a moment. And when you are on the lock screen, you can press and hold the home button to launch Torch, which is really cool. So here you have your weather widget. Uh, looks really nice with cool animations and stuff. You have the status bar with white icons and the notification panel very similar to TouchWiz but here you can get additional toggles by sliding this part up and down. Let's move on to the app drawer. Here you have all your apps that you get with this ROM and the icons are really nice uh, and uh, if you don't like it you can change it as well. We'll come to customizations in a bit. You don't have much of Google Apps pre-installed since you have the Play Store you can download it and you can download all the necessary apps that you want. So everything is working fine here with this ROM like the Play Store, Camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC etc. We have no issues regarding any apps that we get here. Everything is working perfectly fine. Here you have got some built-in apps like Compass, Power Management that is similar to Samsung's Power Saving Mode. USB mass storage, this is to transfer your files between your PC and your phone and quick boot for a quick reboot. Talking about the camera, here you have the TouchWiz camera with all its functions, everything is working here again, no issues at all. The default music player is also pretty good looking and works really good. You can add up to 9 home screens and at the end of all your home screens you have this gallery home screen. You cannot remove it, this is by default with this ROM and from this home screen you can launch your camera and uh, go to your gallery itself. The dialer is also very simple and the smart dial feature works that you have with the TouchWiz. We have got AOSP styled keyboard and here the glide features works as well. Let's move on to customizations now. Here you have options to add themes if you don't like these icons. You can download it online, so let me just show you a few of them. You also can change the lock screen style by downloading additional lock screen themes. Have a look. Let's move on to settings. Here you have this tab style settings menu and here you have got some new controls like gestures and motions. So over here you have custom gestures that is you can create your own gesture to perform any action. As you can see we have circle to open camera, V to open flashlight and you also can create your own gesture a custom gesture to perform any of your action. So that is really good and you also need to select the area where you can draw the gestures okay. So if you hit this button over here you can go on to advanced and over here you can slide down from the left or slide down from the right. 
so as you can see I need to slide down from the right of the notification bar there you go and I draw V over here this will enable the torch so that is really good so guys coming to the motion you have a lot of touchwiz styled motion controls for telephone as you can see you can flip to mute you can enable it easy dial easy answer and hands free switch so these are the motions that you get you also have motions for your camera and system motions that is three fingers swipe up to take a screenshot so let me just quickly show it to you so three fingers swipe up and there you go if you go on to security and screen lock here you have vacant lock that is waving above the camera to unlock but this is not as fluid and smooth as it should be but a really cool add-on I would say hopefully this issue will be fixed with the future releases long pressing the home button will give you the multitasking window with the memory uses info and a button to clear your RAM and kill all the background running apps tapping and holding an empty space on the home screen will give you additional options to add widgets wallpapers effects that is the transition between home screens and themes lastly talking about the battery life the battery life is really amazing with this rom it's definitely better than touchwiz roms and the standby time is just amazing three to five days no matter what i'm getting like six to eight hours on heavy uses continuous wi-fi connectivity gaming calling texting whatsapp facebook everything and 8 to 12 hours on moderate uses so that's a wrap thanks a lot for watching guys feel free to leave your comment down below more videos coming your way stay tuned and you guys have a great day bye bye now